Sabine Hornig is a German visual artist who lives and works in Berlin. From 1986 to 1992, Hornig studied sculpture and photography at Berlin University of the Arts. Hornig is known for interpretations of modernist architecture and contemporary urban life with special emphasis in Berlin. Her art considers the built environment and incorporates everyday architecture elements such as doors, walls, and windows. She challenges how people perceive the world around them. She frequently uses storefronts as her subjects and uses glass to create an ambiguous image that oscillates between mirror and window to reveal interior and exterior spaces. In her ongoing window series started in 2001, the photographed empty storefronts reflect p potential for change and provide an opportunity for improvement. This image, entitled Windows 3, was created in 2001 and was see printed behind plexiglass. This image of a store window allows viewers to see inside the empty store and also the reflection of the snowy parking lot and the naked tree. This image is theoretical because no one knows why the store is empty, which allows viewers to come to a conclusion. It is also aesthetically evaluative because it shows the, view the beauty of the snow covering the parking lot and the leafless tree. This photograph, entitled Showcase 2, was created in 2003. Viewers see the interior space, which is the vacant store, while also seeing the exterior space, which is the surrounding strip mall. Complementary colors, red and green, are utilized to enhance the ambiguity of the interior and exterior spaces shown. This image, entitled Without Title II, was created in 2005. It shows a vacant office-like building with a reflection of trees. Like the image prior and the image before that, this image is also theoretical because it allows the viewers to come to their own unique conclusion as to why the space is vacant. However, it is also aesthetically evaluative because the reflective image is of leafless trees in two neat columns. This photograph, entitled Window with Palm, was created in 2010. The photograph is unique in that the reflective image shows Hornick taking the photograph. This is an explanatory picture because it shows the viewer how the photographer is capturing this image. This photograph called Untitled Backlight was created in 2009. One can see the vacant store while also seeing the reflective image of apartment buildings. However, the marks on the glass brings the viewer back to the physical world and doesn't let the viewer get lost in the reflective image. However, this image is still theoretical and aesthetically evaluative because the viewer still does not know why the store is empty and also the reflective image juxtaposed on top of the real world image is still aesthetically pleasing. This photograph entitled number 12 was created in 2009. The many scratches on the glass in a circular form disrupts the reflected image of a serene apartment building with cars parked in front of it from the real world's vacant storefront image. Again, the scratches prevent the viewer from getting lost in ambiguity. In this last piece, you can see Hornick's physical construction of a large window merge with other photographs of a large corner window. This was presented in Sabine Hornick's solo exhibition called Transparent Things. The photographs themselves are entitled Large Corner Window and are printed on transparent material. However, from a distance, they look like glass panels. Yet again, the yellow tape on the glass window creates a separation between the reflective and real world image. Turning her photographs into a physical construction adds a strange second order of reality, which is entirely unique to her exhibitions. The significance of Hornick's work is that she turned architecture into viewing apparatuses. The ambiguity of her images questions how architecture organizes our world and controls our perception of it. Hornick breaks down the social construction by photographing her images in such a unique fashion.